Welcome to the Sigma product knowledge series. Today we're going to be covering the various types of excavator. On this first picture you can see a typical CAT 330 excavator. Um, the machine is mounted on hydraulic tracks. It's then got a rotating body and the arm or boom comes out the front which is used for digging. Now the, the implement or tool on the end is a bucket, in this case a heavy duty digging bucket. That is then fitted onto the dipper which is the um, piece which is running up to the boom. Next to the boom on the body you've then got the cab where the operator sits. Behind the cab and the boom is the engine and hydraulic pump and at the back of the body of the machine you've got the counterweight. Now the bucket is connected to the dipper by means of the bucket linkage. The ram on the dipper which operates the bucket is called the bucket ram. The ram on the boom of the machine which operates the dipper is called the dipper ram. And then you can see there's two hydraulic boom rams which operate the boom. This makes the machine very versatile. It's easy to use, fast to operate. It's a good configuration and it's used by all of the excavator manufacturers. Now the you can see the undercarriage on the machine. It's a good undercarriage. There's nothing broken or bent on it and it's not slack or sloppy. However you can just see the the top of the line of track plates there is slightly uneven. That is probably where the track has been sitting for some time and the track chains have seized up but this is fine once it's tracked a few meters they'll loosen off. On this next photograph we've got the same machine from the other side again you can see the boom, the dipper, all the rams the hook on the back of the bucket is just used for lifting that's quite useful on a site. There is a pipe running down the side of the dipper in a curve and ending about halfway down the dipper. That pipe is a hydraulic pipe. It uses hydraulic pressure as do all the rams on the machine. And this is for attaching a hammer onto the end of the dipper which is used for breaking rocks. We'll cover some photographs of this later. Now the machine is run by an engine which is in the back of the body of the machine. That then runs a hydraulic pump which provides hydraulic pressure to all the different points on the machine. The hydraulic pressure then runs the tracks, it runs the slough on the upper body so that the machine can turn. It operates the boom and any tools on the end of the boom. So hydraulic pressure is the main force on this machine. If your hydraulic pump goes down that is a major item almost as major as the engine going down on a machine. Here's the back of the machine it's got the counterweight you can see the name which is Cat Caterpillar they are one of the major excavator manufacturers. The model number is a 330. Caterpillar used the first number to designate it as an excavator, so all of CAT's modern excavators start with a 3. The next two digits give you the weight of the machine, so this is a 30 ton machine. Quite often you'll see 320s or 329s, 336s, 345s. Those are all excavators, they all start with a 3, and the, the second number whether it be 20 or 25 or 30 gives you the tonnage, the weight of the machine. Now the yellow piece at the back with cat painted on it that is the counterweight which gives a balance to the force of the machine when it's digging and above the counterweight you can see two lifting eyes which in certain cases you might want to lift the machine all plant is fitted with lifting eyes again the back corner of the machine the D on the model number is the series of the machine so they started with just 330 they went 
then went to the 330B, which they manufactured up till about 2001. Then the C's came out and they phased them out in about 07, and now they're onto the D series, and they've just started production of the E series, which is um, much more modern, and they also have brought in hybrid machines. The LME, after the model, the L stands for long carriage, which is the undercarriage. It's a long carriage as opposed to a standard size carriage. This gives additional stability on the machine. The ME stands for mass excavation, which is basically a short dipper on the machine, which increases the breakout force when you're digging with the bucket. It basically means that the bucket has got more force, so you can put a bigger bucket on, and that is then used to do large or what they call mass excavating. When you've got a large contract you're needing to shift a lot of soil, a ME excavator will often do this faster. This is the back of the bucket, again you can see the hook. There, between the bucket linkage and the actual bucket there is a quick hitch. This is a manual quick hitch, it's not a hydraulic one. It's You know it's a manual one because there are no hydraulic services running down to the quick hitch. I'll show you a photograph in a second. On the front of the bucket here you've got the bucket teeth. These are replaceable. Once they wear out or wear down you can take them out and replace them with new teeth. And this is a standard digging bucket. Buckets are measured by the width so this might be a five or six foot wide digging bucket. Here we have hydraulic quick hitch. You can see the hydraulic pipes running down into it and this is a fast way of um, coupling or decoupling a bucket from the end of the machine which is especially useful when you're often swapping over between buckets, different buckets or perhaps between a bucket and a hammer something like that. It means the operator can drop off and pick up attachments without leaving his cab. On this picture you can see the front of the boom you can see the hydraulic lines running down which will be used to operate a quick hitch this machine is not fitted with a quick hitch the bucket linkage and the dipper connect straight into the pins on the bucket but the, it has the hydraulic lines or pipes for a quick hitch now following on from the way that Caterpillar model numbers run. This is a Hitachi machine. Zaxxis is the main overriding series or model name of excavators. And the 130 is, it means that it's a 13 ton. LCN means that it's the long carriage for that model and N means that it's a narrow version which is useful for restricted access areas or for areas with width restrictions on the roads so you don't want to be um, carrying a machine that is wider than that width restriction. This is a, again another Hitachi machine. If you look at the boom and the dipper this is a long reach machine. It's often used for dredging or um, grading the sides of rivers or canals where you need a long, a long reach machine. Um, again this is a 225 which means it's a 22.5 ton machine. It may not be exactly that. With the extra boom it's probably a bit heavier. The USR means that it is a zero tail swing so the counterweight on this is much further towards the cab than on a normal machine and it means that when the machine swings around the counterweight does not protrude over the edge of the tracks and if you see a, an excavator with a U or a US in the model name it's probably a zero tail swing machine and again this is LC which is relates to the length of the undercarriage. This is Komatsu another major brand of excavator their um, excavator notation is PC for the crawler excavators and PW if the excavator is on wheels. We'll go through that again later. 
the 210 that means that it's a 21 ton excavator and again that is valid for all of their machines 290 is a 29 ton a PC 350 is a 35 ton and so on just on this machine the you can see just behind the PC 210 sticker there is that like catch or handle that you can open the side door with on the right hand side of the machine you access the um, hydraulic pump from the grey or black case on the top of the machine you lift that up and you access the engine through the top and on the side door the other side, the cab side you get the radiator so that's the various access points for the machine this is a JCB um, again JS220 is a 22 ton this one has got the hammer pipes but also it's got an extra service which is probably for a shear or rotate which means that you get a constant flow of hydraulic fluid instead of the impact or um, vibration needed for a hammer this is a smaller cat machine it's a 308 which means it's an 8 ton machine it's one of the E-series it's mounted on rubber tracks and it's got a little blade what they call it a dozer blade um, which is used for smoothing soil or means that you can dig up to it with your machine and clean off the surface it's got hammer and probably rotate piping there it's got a quick hitch this is the same machine from the other side on this machine we spoke about a digging bucket earlier this is a much wider shallower bucket it's called a ditching bucket and you generally using it, use it either for smoothing off a surface or for creating a ditch rather than a digging bucket which is more for actually moving quantities of soil there is also a third type of bucket which is called a trenching bucket which is similar to a digging bucket but narrower and this is for digging narrow trenches for instance to put pipes in or something like that now on this machine again if you see the end of the boom it's mounted on a vertical pin which means the boom can swing 180 degrees from side to side this is called an offset boom and it means that it's much more versatile for the operator and he can dig a trench one way whilst tracking the other way which is not possible with a machine with a fixed boom this is an excavator on wheels um, it's got the blade which is useful as we spoke about earlier it's got a quick hitch, it's got hammer piping on the back of the machine it's got two jacks and these coupled with the blade on the front can lift up the machine and provide much more stability in heavy digging conditions the machine itself is fitted with double tires all the way around to give the machine much more um, stability and all-terrain capability this is a Doosan another large brand of excavator it's a DX190, the DX means that it's an excavator 190 means that it weighs 19 tons and the W on the end means that it is wheeled not tracked if it was tracked it would just be a DX190 the plates or plastic sheets on top of the cab in the little cage are cab guards you at the end of the day on a site you take them down you fit them over the windows just to protect them from vandalism and kids throwing stones on this machine you can see a three piece boom whereas before the boom was in a single piece or called a mono boom this is a three piece boom which gives you an extra pivot point in the boom and is useful when you're doing embankment or working above the height of the cab this is, we spoke about earlier, about a hammer this is a hydraulic hammer which fits to the end of the excavator boom onto the quick hitch it takes its power from the hydraulic lines and is used for breaking rocks in quarries or breaking concrete on a demolition site this is 
picture of a Cat 330 with a hammer fitted. On this machine, in, over the windscreen and above the cab, you've got those um, grills. This is, these are called cab um, FOPS protection, which is falling object protection system, and they they stop large stones or rocks hitting the cab windows and smashing them. It basically just protects the operator and the cab. Thanks for listening.